Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart with Slaptown Customs out of Mountain View, Arkansas. <clears throat> Excuse my uh, my voice, I'm pretty stopped up, feeling pretty sick, but I'm going to give you a tour today of one of our recent builds that's headed for Pennsylvania. <clears throat> this is a road legal 8x26 and this is the Forever House. It's called the Forever House. And um, <clears throat> again, 26 foot long, we are on a double axle bumper pull trailer. We've got a gable style roof that has a, a pitch change about 12 foot back. We've got a loft over the front 12 feet and then living area over the back there. So you can see this house, uh, you'll see more as we go inside, several windows. Uh, got our lap siding painted in a charcoal gray. <clears throat> go inside and give you a look around. This particular house built on 2 by 10 floor joist. Alright, we've got a 9 light, 3 foot entry door, about common for us. <clears throat> And kind of got a grayish hardwood laminate flooring, a little bit different color in here. Looks good, I think. Our walls on this one, 12 inch wide wood, bedded boards painted white. Got a heat and air combo unit mounted in the wall here. And to start with, I'll show you this back end. <clears throat> we have some built in seating, kind of an L shaped couch area. And of course, there is storage underneath all that. Both those lift up. Customer will provide their own. Uh, cushions after delivery and not sure if you can tell really but we've got a murphy bed there that's a queen size murphy bed that is uh, mounted sideways that folds down just misses the door <clears throat> so uh turn around here <clears throat> okay we've got as i said we've got a 12 foot loft over the kitchen and bathroom area <clears throat> we've got a set of steps going into that and steps are just open storage. We've got some cubby type steps, excuse me, some cubby type storage over part of it. And then on the taller parts, we have actually have hanging rods in there on that one, as well as this other one down here <clears throat> for some closet storage. Of course, more shelving doors could be added to turn that into pantry if needed. But uh, got uh, the loft again is eight by 12. And it's uh, quite roomy. We've got a lot of headroom up there. We've got a window on each side. We've got some LED can lighting in the loft, several outlets up there. We've got our same hardwood laminate flooring that runs throughout. <clears throat> and come on down. We've got a 10 cubic foot stainless steel fridge. Cabinets are, uh, base cabinets are white. We've got a uh, birch butcher block type cabinet countertop that we've stained in a dark walnut as requested. Double base and stainless steel sink. Of course, we've got a window over the sink. Uh, over here, we've got another two foot wide uh, cabinet, door and door cabinet. Got a uh, Edge Star washer dryer combo unit. Of course, more countertop over here, another window on this side. And we've got the same can LED lighting in here. These lights are awesome. I wish we had some power hooked up where you guys could see this. Our bathroom, <clears throat> This house is, is basically started out as one of our Jasper units uh, with some custom changes, of course, one being the length. But uh, remember the Jasper and like uh, Mimi's Freedom House had the window wall between the bathroom and kitchen. This one does not have the windows in it, but we do have a pocket door. Slides over to the left as you go in. I've got it held in place open for transport. But this bathroom, we're full three foot deep and we've got a three foot three shower stall that we put the uh, barn metal corrugated tin in we do have the window here in the bathroom over here on the side we have a regular home style toilet and one of our Dalstead handmade pottery sinks uh, with some kind of different uh, valves and water supply that we've done over the sink we've got our same walnut stained thick butcher block uh, vanity top made that matches the kitchen and uh, mirror light bar over that so uh, if you have any questions as always about this house one of our previous builds or anything else maybe you want to talk about a custom build <clears throat> you can email me at ozarksdeskyahoo.com or you can text or call me anytime at 870-213-5310 and uh, another shot here just a little bit of storage we've got some broom and swiffer storage there next to the uh, steps so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys, a uh, little shaky I know, <clears throat> but I don't apologize for that anymore. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys, we do appreciate the support.